la ti da 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 hmm. what's up guys I'm Sim here and welcome back to another video and we're still working on the iron form as you can see and I'm just working here on the spawning cells and I brought a bit more wood up here just so I could finish this up here and it looks like that would be good enough amounts of wood to continue here or uh, actually finish the spawning cell. So we do this, and here we go. It does look like we will have one left. All right, sweet. Okay, guys, so that's one part done. I'm going to continually cut and cut and cut because this is a lengthy process, and I wouldn't want to bore you guys, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys, I'm back here. Uh, we're making torches, all right, and the reason being is because we need a certain light level uh, for this uh, farm to work. Now, not many people take this into consideration, but it is uh, a main factor here. And if we don't do so, it could actually not work. So, hopefully, that doesn't. Oh, okay, I went over. Ah oh, man, <laughs> oh this this looks good already. It does, right? I think it looks good. Um, okay, let's try it again. If it doesn't work, well, let's take a look. Oh, so close. All right, well, I filled in the water, made this higher, and these torches will be marked out every other block like this. And we'll continue to do that on all sides. And I will see you guys back in a bit. All right, guys, our next concern is putting in a floor, and this is how we do it. And UCC Dog requested that I talk about how to efficiently build an iron golem farm, and that's what I'm going to be doing here while I build this platform. Now, the reason being, we're building two platforms. As you can see, on the there's going to be boxes here on the outside where, our, where the villagers are going to be stored. Now, we could easily transport them using water elevators, and or we could possibly uh, lure them with water stream or a portal but I don't know how effective that could be so uh, I'm gonna stick to my own uh, gut and use the very known trick of water sources and um, all we need is two in each of those pockets and then they'll self breed and then uh, they'll create uh, four in each making it sixteen now you requested efficiency, correct? All right, let me tell you guys about efficiency of this uh, design here. Okay, the reason why we have two uh, of these, basically there's going to be another water stream like so on the top of this, and that will actually increase spawn rate because now the iron golem sees more areas to spawn and it looks like a bigger village in the code to them. So. The best way I can explain what's going on here in the source code is it's checking to see uh, spawn spawning uh, areas for this golem, and the way it does that is space. And uh, usually, this is the center of the village right there, and that's basically how it works. I mean, in a nutshell. Now, what we're doing right now, wait, well, give me one sec. Uh, gotta find the wool. Here it is. See, we've been uh, storing up some wool for a while now. And let's just get a few more. I, I believe breaking uh, wool with shears does not take away durability, but it's still fast. So that's a good thing. I like that. I, w I really hate to see they change that, but, it, you know, it's going to happen probably because th that's just a free uh, way of breaking wool fast. And, uh, the way they've been doing things right now is looks like it's going to get patched because if you think about it, the efficiency changed. You can no longer use one tool to do everything you want. Um, the way people used to do it is they'd make a shovel, a diamond shovel or whatever it may be, and put efficiency on it, and that would act as a wood, uh, uh, like a wood cutter, um, an axe per se, and um, that would work out so much better for them. Now let me get more ender pearls as well, and yeah, th that's how it used to be. Now you need the specific tool to mine at a fast rate with efficiency, and that way means it's not gonna possibly stay with us too long 
in terms of that staying. Now guys, one more thing. You don't need to use ice for this build. It is completely optional. Uh, what you do need is an infinite water source because you'd be countlessly going back and forth here in your world. And let me watch out. Are you serious? Am I gonna am I gonna die due to that? <sighs> oh. Oh wow. Hmm. Oh god. We, Alright, we better hurry. Aha. Alright guys, so that's basically it. Alright. Now efficiency once again. There's actually a limit to how much uh spawning cells of these, whatever you'd like to call them. There's actually a limit. Um so keep this in mind. If you're gonna build one, it has to be around seventy seven blocks away. Like if you wanna stack this, you can't stack it directly on top. Um it will actually not work. Um even the one that the one uh, below that you stacked will not work because uh first of all light um light levels are a big factor in this if there is not en enough light on hitting a door or a house these are called houses now in this design um it will not count as a house and then no golems will be produced because the way it checks is to see how much villagers there are in a setting and or a house uh which were kind of making here. To us this does not look like a house but in the game code this is more than enough to uh, become a whole village. So we're basically s making a village and that's how it works and we're funneling the golems as soon as they spawn and that's why it's so efficient. Uh, you could definitely do this with pistons and all that other stuff but it's not really efficient and it's more resource uh, intensive. So this is the best method and I was using DocM's tutorial before to get this design, but now I know how to build it. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. Now, I'm not like 100% on all the specifics, but I do know a good amount. So if you have further questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer you. But I'm not entirely done uh, with this. So uh, we're going to go back down there so I can explain what's going on again. So that right there is a village, and we just have to add the water and such. But um, I'll get back to you. I'm going to do that off camera here. Um, I'm going to contemplate a bit about what I should probably talk about for explaining this iron golem uh, factory, I guess you could say. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Whoa. <sighs> Creepers. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, guys, before I get continuing on that, if you guys are wondering why there's only four in here and they're not producing, well, let's think about this. This probably looks like about five, six houses to them, so why would they overpopulate? The, they try to make it as realistic as possible by adding that feature, and that right there looks like a lot more houses, and um, they'll, they'll make 16 villagers out of that. So... That's just me being concisive. Uh, it doesn't exactly work that way, but um, it is in the right direction. Alright guys, it seems like I ran out of stone bricks, but I want to show you guys a little bit of a trick here, and you're probably wondering, why is this here? You'll see in a sec, once I get that stone that I've been cooking up. Um, so... Yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. I'm not entirely done on efficiency. The way we're going to funnel them and stuff is pretty pretty much what you want to know at the moment uh, because it requires a bit knowledge, a bit of knowledge about the game in terms of how far you need to be to uh, be away from those iron golems for them to spawn. Now, here's the thing, guys. There's no limit, actually. I think they, they spawn instantaneous even within... I mean, all there is to it is at least the iron golem is not in the village. Um, you could funnel it exactly under it as long as it's not in that village. 
I think it's feasible and uh, that's what we're going to work with now the reason I did that is so we can end up uh, I don't think it was high enough yeah exactly but this works a bit we can just do something like that uh, hop up here fight the current as best as we can and we're going to break that we're going to place that back get on top of this door and yeah there we go uh, we have more stone bricks to continue so I'll do this on camera we're not really far in the episode as of right now I've done a lot of cutting and we we're getting a lot of progress done but um, I'm probably gonna just build the second spawning thing off camera I'll build the probably the base plate on camera but then everything else like transporting all that I probably won't even get done this episode because think about how far that is uh, to actually uh, maintain and uh, make sure the the villagers are okay, not suffocating is quite difficult, and uh, will proceed as a challenge for me. So it's kind of difficult. I mean, we're going up about a hundred blocks, um, 100, 150 blocks of maintaining their health. So I might have to build out of glass and stuff like that, uh, just so I could see that they're taking damage or not. And, you know, if I really wanted to be very smart about it, I could use leaves and look through it because I'm on fancy graphics. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll just use the glass because, you know, even though if I did use leaves, it's not really helping me. Um, anyway, so, because it's just obscuring my vision a bit. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, basically, we're doing this, like, sort of... Um, water trick and I'll show you how I'm doing that and exactly how I'm placing the water so we got all four done and every other water well that's okay if we did that every other block uh, you wanna place uh, these uh, ice blocks here and as you can see if you're wondering why the rain turned off I have weather turned off because I actually figured out this information if you guys record Minecraft LPs, you want to listen to this. Um, okay, if there's uh, that much visible, visible, <coughs> sorry, tongue tie. If there's that much visible particles on your screen while you're recording, um, it actually, like, the file size outcome is is a monstrosity. Like, you will be surprised. Like, recording without. Uh, weather on and with it on and looking at the file size difference will mind blow you kind of like how I did with the those math videos lately and especially with the femto seconds and the subspecial uh, you guys were probably so mind blown about that but um that was that was pretty crazy I mean 162 times or 160 now I forgot what the number was but it was around there um I do these calculations, but I don't exactly remember them. I mean, they're pretty big numbers. I remember it was like 172 trillion years or something like that in uh, in relation to femtoseconds to a second. Uh, so, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, I love researching things. It's one of my favorite things, actually, to do. Uh, you could probably tell, like, how I hit you up with these in this kind of information-style videos. It's pretty crazy. Um, it's definitely one thing about me, if you're wondering. I love to research things and learn. So, yeah. Yeah, it's me. Alright, anyways, guys. I'm going to continue here off camera. Well, not really off camera. I'm just going to prepare the spawning cells, and then we'll transport the villagers. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. I am back here. I got more supplies here, and we're going to have to actually light the top here. I'm not sure why, but I think it does help the light levels just in case if it needs to check a bit more, it could check for more light coming inbound, if that makes any sense. And what what have I done here? Well, if I just do something like this, we could better yet see where I put the water blocks. So instead of me actually um, getting rid of all of it, I'm being a bit practical and I you could still see where I put all the water blocks I actually use ice but it doesn't matter you can use buckets of water and that's where I place them all now guys you're probably wondering what is this this is to contain the villagers in one given area so we don't have problems like uh, them spawning or like mobs spawning in here or 
like glitching through because glitching through blocks is very common in Minecraft even now that it is uh, using an internal server to manage the single player game now what we've learned from this is to probably uh, funnel them into one given area like I just showed you right now I believe that is the best thing to do uh, can we not get up there is that the problem there you go okay alrighty uh, and I'm just trying to make it look nice uh, because this is going to be a project that is probably going to be visible so I just want to make it look pretty nice and yeah uh, allow me to do this and I will get back to you guys in a bit and I'm aware that they could spawn on upside down half slabs we'll be taking care of that guys so don't you worry I I know alrighty um, let's just uh, get rid of this and just to be yeah just to be uh, symmetrical actually better yet we could possibly do something like that actually you know I don't want to do that actually I want to put a uh, jackal lantern so for now we'll just have one just to prevent spawning right at the moment and next we will uh, completely remove all of them we don't have to put as much torches here because there's not really doors but uh, you do need to put some at least so that's basically it just to showcase it in action that's why I do right there and we're gonna go ahead and place this over on top I mean we could do that and now it prevents spawn completely and it could look nice and dark yeah I think I'm gonna do that but first we need to place torches in there so alright as you can see I'm not clicking anything you always all of them will they won't be pushed against this so they could glitch out so they'll always be pushed to the center that's what's happening here alrighty I'm gonna wait a sec what am I doing alright well actually I want that block so let's try to get out of here a more logical way alright there we go Alright guys, so that's basically it. I mean, I'm going to do this for the rest of the sides, and I'm going to change the other side we have somewhere here. Yep, there it is. And instead of having it flushed, uh, I'll just go ahead and scrap this and bring it up one more, and it looks a bit better, and it'll, it won't like be like any more higher, so that's a good thing. And yeah, that's basically what we want here. Alright guys, so I'll continue here. And, um... When I'm done with this, I'll probably explain why I'm doing this. Um, some people are probably think this is cheaty in the back of their minds, or just openly think it's cheaty, and I want to explain my role here. So I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys, I am back. I want AFK a bit, not too long, but uh, we have enough uh, stone bricks, I think, to complete this cell. And um, it's been pretty, pretty fun so far. And I use the word pretty twice because. Well, there's actually no reason, but I'm going to make up a reason. Um, Alright, guys. I haven't been... I've been really slacking lately in terms of this world. Like, every time I start recording, there's nothing planned. Until today, like, I finally fixed that problem. And I just started building this. Uh, not knowingly where to put it. But I contemplated about it. I was like, you know, I'm going on with this idea of making this cell. What am I going to do? So, what do you think I did? I just contemplated a bit, or thought deeply about, really, is the definition of that word. And, Dad, look at us now. I mean, look, we have a nice spawning cell. Uh, still have a little bit work to do, but that is fine. We could do that on camera, uh, or off camera. It depends. It depends how tedious it gets, but I, I work pretty fast at these. Uh, usually I would probably say I work at my own pace, but that that's different. When uh, you get into a rhythm of building certain things, uh, you know how to build it from then on. Uh, so it's pretty much a pattern here. Uh, so as you can see, I'm just flying by here. Uh, 
and I know what to do. And if we use that, we could just swap that out. Uh, if you're wondering how to do that, you uh, hover over the item and press 1 through 9 of where you want it to appear, this being 1, this being 9, in order. And if I wanted this to stack with that, press 7. And, or actually just swaps really it, all it does is swap so that's just a test right there and I said I was gonna make a test video and I'm actually really dedicated to do it right after this video uh, I already recorded two Reposums Universe the one before this and this one after so we're not gonna have comments this episode I can already predict that but we will have it next episode and to be quite honest, I think it's worth it because we're actually getting something entertaining done here. Do you guys think so? I mean, it's alright. I mean, I'm still getting your comments. It'll just be next episode. So, leave good ones so you can't wait to, for me to read them next episode. Hey, that's that's just my, uh, I guess that would be a way to uh, really motivate you guys to do so, if you will. Alright, let's move on from the middle okay okay let's just ender pearl to here let's take a look where we're building building that uh, other spawn I think it was here yep here it is okay uh, here we go so we're pretty much uh, good to go um, I've been spending a majority of my day doing this a uh, good thing I didn't have homework today, which is very rare. Uh, I have homework almost every night, but homework is awesome. No, I'm joking. I hate homework. Alright, I'm being serious, guys. I don't... I mean, I like homework, but I don't because it cuts into time, like, doing this kind of thing for you guys, so... Not my favorite thing. Uh, and, yeah, that's, that's basically why. Uh, other than that, school is a good thing. It's something that should be uh you know liked i mean because you're, you're ultimately going there why not you, you have to learn to like it um not saying that you have to like it because you're forced to do it in a sense at least here you're not really forced well i don't know it's, you'd be it would be wrong to ask me because i'm not really sure but um yeah it's one of those done and we could go back down here, finish the next one, which I do by doing this. And yeah, I'm really proud of how I actually started building one of these projects I have in my book. And um, it actually means a lot, like I'm actually building one. Uh, even though the end was part of one uh, and the quadrant, but the quadrant really isn't a project, it's merely just mining uh, for resources it really is I mean it's a project because it's so large 1.6 million blocks that is just as far out from anything that I guarantee you guys um, for the majority of you guys playing Minecraft uh, most of you are almost close to coming to that uh, you're probably wondering like how why didn't I say like you uh, didn't meet that well it turns out that in the total number of place blocks and all that stuff is actually derived from how much you play the game and what you do like are you a builder and stuff I can not really tell you guys numbers right now because it's merely on how you play the game but um if I were to say for me I probably placed around 400,000 blocks um, and play uh, break um, if I were to say so, yeah, it's crazy amount. Dude, it's just an estimate. There is no math behind this. This is not confirmed at all. So, you know, it's something that you probably uh, wouldn't try to confirm. I don't, I don't know. If you guys want to confirm this, uh, go ahead. I, I don't know how I could help you, though, if you're wondering. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's there are ways to do things. So, that's a project for you guys. <laughs> I'm just playing. Alright guys, um, that's our spawning cell done. All we have to do is transport the villagers and I'm going to show you a quick and easy method really quickly uh, on how I'm going to do this. Firstly we have a minecart and rails here which are pretty important. I don't want to
take all the villagers at once, but if we do something like this, you can see I got a villager. That's basically um, using the corner as it will detect this and this and that as kind of um, a block. Or like it, it's air. You see what I mean? How he just randomly decides to leave? I don't know who told him he can, but um, you, sir, have no rights. <laughs> You have no rights, man. You can't be doing that. Oh, it's going to be on top of this. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Well, don't worry. You guys don't have to watch my pain. Um, I will have to watch my pain because I'm looking at the screen right now. But um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh. All right, guys. I'm back here. I'm just mining some of this stuff. Oh, I should probably break that. Uh, leftover. So I used the water but it wasn't in great amount and as you can see I got all the villagers out and they bred I took the baby ones and I put them in the other cells and okay alright this is what happened I knocked out the minecart for the guy that we traded with so much the butcher and he glitched through so I assumed like I assumed uh, he uh, like fell through so I look I went down, he was still up there. So I come back up and then I accidentally slide him off and he falls and dies and somewhere down there. He's down there somewhere. But uh he's not around if you know what I mean. He's he died. Uh yeah, but it's okay, I mean. Whew. It was he was a good villager. We traded with him the most. I never traded so much with a villager before, well, when the bulk trading was around, yeah, I did, but in 1.5 or 4, no way. Uh, he was the best. But uh, let me pick up all this other stuff. Did I pick it all up? Alright, alright, looks like I did. Well, let's go take a look at the spawning cells. I still have some items back there. Uh, let me just put all this stuff away. Uh, probably take the meat. And I'll meet you back up there. Alright, actually we ran into a zombie and that brings me to another question where Oh look, an iron golem fell. Look at that. You saw that, right? That was purely purely meant to happen because I wanted to show you guys how it's happening. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go check it out. I believe that uh that zombie spawned on the far side and so he cause I saw him started walking around. And I was like, wait what? <laughs> I mean, I removed some of the blocks up here, but uh, not entirely. I still have quite a few to remove. Um, so yeah. Uh, which is what's scary about the iron golem farm is they could spawn like inside of you. There's no like. There's no boundaries, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, they will spawn as long as you know the environment fits. I didn't bring my uh, shears, that's great. That is awesome. Okay, let's try to break as much as we can. Oh, we're about done here. Alright, the next part we need to build is the killing system. And that guy's, I don't know how I'm going to compact it. But I'm going to, oh, I, I have an idea in my head already. Alright, that's, that's, you know, me. Wee! <laughs> awesome. I have an idea. Alright, so first of all, I want to get down there safe. Do I have an axe? There you go. Hmm, it's three. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, whoa! Three! Yeah, you see, I've been waiting so long for them to, uh, the villagers to breed and stuff and grow up that this happened. Three. See, now, now you guys believe me, right? Okay, good. Um, okay, let's take a look here. Man, I didn't know I was gone that long. Is he angry at me? Toby. Okay, apparently he's not angry at me. I did not create these golems, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. How about these guys? That's interesting. They're not angry at you. 
They're looking at me like they want to. Huh. That's weird. Guys, I, I'm not doing anything here. I don't know what could be causing this, but, um... It sure is not me, I'm telling you guys. I really did not do this. Wow. If, if that's the case, I mean... Oh, I know why. I haven't... Wait, didn't I hit a villager so to get him? That was probably after they spawned. Okay, alright. I see what's going on now. Okay, if I hit a villager, then they're gonna freak out on me. But if I don't, then they're they're fine. Okay, alright. I could work with that. I mean, that's no problem for me. That's better for me, actually. Um, No ender pearls. Oh, man. Well, I will just, I guess, bridge up this way. Oh, that got rid of the water here, too. Mm. Have to break that really quick. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look here. And, uh, we'll get started on the other part. Arg, 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 I just died. Arg? Is that what we say when we die, guys? I, I don't know. Someone has to inform me of these, uh, these, uh, the way to speak. So to speak. Hmm, let's see what I did there. Alrighty, guys. Uh, not fooling around. Let me try to be explanatory. Like you guys probably want. But you guys like it when I fool around. Hmm. It's different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Am I? Oh, God. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, man. Not what you guys uh, intended or uh, rather expected. Let's, let's try to get out of here. Please, right on top. Yes! Sweet. Alright, now what we want is we just want a nice pad here. And we could form that by doing something like this. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm really... Uh, it's about 35 minutes into the episode, so... I need to wrap it up here. Oh, and why did I get a book? We can't read comments today. Silly goose, aren't I? Man, you, you, when you focus on focus, this, this is what I'm talking about. Like, when you talk for so long or plan something, and then you're doing it, and then you get in the moment of this, this just building mentality. <laughs> that happens. Just simply, that happens. Is all I could say. Let's just see really quick. Let's get these all around. Alright. We got our base plate. And let's just make a nice uh, uh, stable outback. Where did I place that? Outback. I don't even know what this is called. Oh, God. Alrighty. Alright. So, we want a block here block here, and a block here, remove this block, and we're going to put a piston facing here, put a block, um, get a redstone torch, we need two of those, if anything, and all I need, this is, this is gonna, this is bound to change by the way, for now, it's going to be like this. Just for now, guys. So once these are activated... Wait a sec, that's not going to work. We just need one. Wait, um... Right here. That sounds good. And that will just go into this... Um... Block... Oh god. I have no idea what I'm doing. Guys, I'll do this off camera next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I think it's going to get pretty ugly from here in terms of the redstone. But um, I have I have some work to catch up on. Hope you guys understand. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know if you like the length. I'll see you guys later. Peace out now.